Who was that guy? Sounds like he was looking for someone. Could it be Ed? This is the top floor of the building. I wonder if Pop's still in this building. Actually, there were some stairs to the basement. There was a pile of sandbags in the way, but maybe I could climb over. Is he talking? I'm not sure what stairs he's talking about. I can hear Keith and Robert, but can't tell what they're talking about. Okay. So I can't I can't go in there. Date it. I wonder if I wonder if you're like supposed to be found. Like the last time we were supposed to hide, and then Keith didn't. Um oh. And Keith found us anyway. Oh, uh, okay. So, n you are supposed to... You can successfully hide. But you don't have to successfully hide. It just... it uh, uh Like, just apparently the, the cutscene goes differently. If... um You are found... Wait, I should be able to just go down though, right? Because that's for going up, right? No, this is for going down. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And then we go down this way. And then there's supposed to be. It says there are stairs to the. Stairs to the basement that are blocked. I think he's talking about um, a set of stairs over here. And if I'm wrong, I'll figure it out. But I'm pretty sure he's talking about these stairs over here. Because there's like that one set that's blocked by... Yeah, this, 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 this is it, right? Yes! Also... We should save. Oh, I think this is it. Um, third row, middle thing. Lol. Oh, <laughs> hope I said that right. But hey, thanks for being a follower. Welcome. There's something stuck to the roof inside. Got the tour label! Yes! Whoops. Not that. Items. Tour label. 35, 61, 42. 35, 61, 42. 3, 5, 6, 1, 4, 2. It opened. Obtained a letter to a patient. Yes! Uh, this one. A letter from a staff to a patient. A name tag is included with it. Hello, my name is Sergio Bowles? Bowers? I think it's Bowers. <laughs> Dustin, since I'm quitting my job here, I'm writing you this letter. Working in Building 3, I've been very glad for your kindness. Because I was hated in Building 4. A patient named Kenny hated me especially. He always sought handshakes from everyone, yet when I passed through, he always drew back. Thank you for always being friendly with me. It's against the rules to give gifts, so I'll give you the name tag I always wore. Oh yeah, Bowers. I hope you remember me. I'd like to meet you again on the outside. Take care. That's a nice little note. So a book of paintings. The Murder of Laos by Oedipus. Just a block. Whoa! Fuck! 
Can people stop scaring me? You, you again? Will, wasn't it? Yeah, why the fuck are you down here now? I'm Robert Hayes. Sorry if I gave you a fright earlier. Hmm. Sorry. So, why are you here? By here, I mean this facility. I thought I'd wait out the snow with my friend in here, but we got separated, so I'm looking for him. Is that it? Well, I think you should leave soon. It's snowing badly today. What's your relationship with that detective? I only just met him earlier. But what about you? You know him? He came to me three days ago for an investigation of a murder that took place a week ago. Oh, don't worry. I'm not the culprit, of course. <laughs> Though it seems that detective is still suspicious, so he was stubbornly questioning me. That's what a murderer so would say! A, murder? a certain man was killed in an apartment room. Another tenant noticed and reported it, since the stench was awful after three days. Why did he come to question you? Did you know the guy who was killed? Who knows? It beats me. The police just ask questions. They don't tell you a thing. That sounds suspicious! Why did you come here, Robert? I used to live here long ago. Did you know that after the hospital was shut down, it was turned into a shelter? Yes, I've been told. Yeah, I know. I also heard five people were killed here 15 years ago. Why would you come to a place like that? There's no denying it's a dirty, creepy place. But I did spend a short time here as a child. I just felt like reminiscing about the old days. Hmm. Do you and Ed know each other by any chance? Fat chance. Huh? Huh? Nothing. Oh, he knows you're lying. Will, you came to find your friend, yes? You'd better find him soon. It's going to get dark. I suppose I should go, too. See you, Will. All right. You could catch a cold staying here for too long. Maybe I should tell Ed, too. Oh. Oh, we're gonna find out. What did you just say? Huh? I asked what you said. Did you meet him? St stop it! Don't touch me! Let go! Pop? A uh, rat? <laughs> What's with this thing? D disgusting! Leave me alone! Is it Pops? Y you damn rat! <gasps> Sheesh! What was that? on my friend! I'll beat the shit out of you, you bastard! Boy, he almost, like, killed you! Can I- uh, Oh, this is bad. Keith, can you magically come back down here again? I friend! Oh. What? What What are you saying? You asshole! You killed my friend! Get over here! I I told I'm gonna to beat home, the Robert. shit out of you for what you did. I may be a kid, but you are dead. I will beat the shit out of you! I will beat the shit out of you! You killed my the friend! Detective? Get over was here! That I'm gonna beat the Will's... shit out of you for what you did. I may be a kid, but you Don't are talk. dead. I will sight. beat the this shit out of you! Up. You asshole! You killed my friend! Get... <laughs> will, calm down. It's okay. Breathe slow. Was 
that really your rat? Huh? Your rat's got a crooked right leg, with some of the fur missing, doesn't he? This one's leg isn't crooked. Also, it's got a pattern on its back. Really? Oh. But why did the rat act nuts, though? You would soon be like, it came to the rescue, or it came to fuck stuff up, but if it's not Pops, then LS just normal rat that wanted to be protective? Or, or either that, or Robert has a smell on him, or like food or something on him that made it be like, I'm gonna come get it. You shouldn't look. It's just a wild rat, but I bet you don't want to see its guts. It attacked Robert, though. I wonder why. Animals don't like bad people. Maybe he had some food on him. At any rate, good thing it wasn't your rat. <gasps> hey, Keith. Is Robert a killer? Or... Or... Wild thought, and I kind of hope it's not true. But what if Keith's a line? What if Keith is saying it's not his rat just to make him feel better? And that's why he says, oh, don't look. Uh, I mean, you don't want to see its guts or anything, right? Ha ha ha. Don't want to see that it's actually your rat with the crooked leg. Oh, my word. I don't know which scenario is worse. <laughs> I... I <laughs> uh, he ran his mouth, did he? He really doesn't listen to anything people tell him. Nope. Nah. In fact, he's a victim. That's why I had my subordinate guard him. Well, don't get too deep in this. You just find Pop and get back to David's place. Got that? I know that. Mm, the only thing that makes me not think it's the Keith lied. Sorry, I have a phone down here. Uh, possibility is the fact that he Keith wants him to get out of there and giving him a reason to stay longer wouldn't be smart I don't think like would it have been better to be like yeah sorry this was your rat I guess you just have to go home now but I don't know I, I don't know ugh not brave enough to look. I feel so bad for it getting stomped. Once I find Pop and take care of everything, I'll come back to bury you. Until then, sorry. What a good kid. What a good child. They played on the desk. It reads Denise Nair, Ryan Levine, Chester Jones, Neil Woods. There's a rope hanging up above. The table looks extremely dirty. This gives me a bad feeling. I should steer clear of this table. Oh, like someone like hung themselves here or something. Any crumpled letters in the trash. Dearest doctor, how do you do? I've placed a present on your desk. Isn't it just adorable? I'd be happy if you treated it well. Alice Stanley. Dearest doctor, how do you do? It seems you forgot your gifts, so I've put it on your desk. Please think of me and take it with you. Dearest doctor, you forgot your gift and left it there again. Please don't lose it again this time. Uh, so you hate the sight of my face. I heard you're talking to Dr. Woods. Well, this should do now, shouldn't it? This time, do not lose it and take care of it. Why do you so quickly throw it away? 
I even took away that ugly face. How about this? How about this time? I'm quite proud of my hair. Don't abandon me. Stay with me. Is it talking about a doll? So I have to... I wonder if... It's talking about the doll? Harris... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then how do I know what doctor it is? Because it just says, dearest doctor... Wait, okay, hold on. It's from Alice Stanley. So it's probably for a male doctor. Possibly. I heard you talking to Dr. Woods. So that eliminates one of the doctors, I think. I don't remember seeing the Woods name. Okay, so he was talk. She, they've talked to Doctor Woods, so it could be the neighbor doctor here, Dennis. Achievement unlocked. Love letter. Aww. It just wanted to be placed back on the desk. Hello? Hello? Who are you? Are we not going to talk about it? Was she like the doll girl who like chopped up all their bits and stuff? Like is that who it was? Do I need to do anything else about that? Or is that it? Is that like just like the thing? Oh, I need to keep following it. Okay. Follow it out to the reception hall. Oh, that's open now. That was not open before. Oh boy. Are you Alice? 
always crying. <laughs> Did something okay. sad happen? <laughs> you don't want to tell me? I'll stay here until you're not sad anymore. Because you get sadder when you're by yourself. Or maybe you're crying because you're all alone? I'm all alone too. Everyone thinks I'm weird and avoids me. It makes me really sad. I'll call you Misery, because it's really important to have a name. It says you're actually there. So you don't have to cry now. I'll stay with you. Don't cry, Misery. <laughs> Even if we're together, I guess we're still all alone. That can't have been Misery. I mean, there's no way she could be here. Since I came to this building, I've been seeing these things again. Is it this place to blame? Or am I just nuts after all? Mime, Murdoch, Misery. Stopped seeing them once Pop came along. I really do need Pop around. I have to find him, no matter what. Oh, I didn't see what room this was. There's a few towels on the table. Another building map? Oh no. Oh gosh. Okay. Sure, why not? It only helps by so much. And look, another kitchen. Staff's member's diary. I scolded the patient in 3202 for drawing on the floors. He keeps wandering with the map of his hometown. It was just depressing, so I confiscated it. But he's still wandering around there. The patient in 3408 is clamoring about being watched. I taped up the cell to serve as makeshift blinds, but he still says he's being watched. He sits in a chair by his bed, up against the bars. Looking into the hall through the tape, he keeps muttering, Everyone is watching me. Talk about disturbing. What two did she s- Oh! There's a doodle on the floor. So what two do I need to pay attention to? 3202 and 3408. Okay. Not sure what any of these doodles mean. Okay. What the hell is this stain on the floor? I keep seeing these stains around, and they give me such a bad feeling. Oh, fuck! What if these are the places where they've been murdered? These must be the stains they couldn't, like, get rid of. So that's just where people have been dying. Or that's where the dead people were found. Like, pain and stuff. Or maybe that's where people hung themselves. I don't know. The, the happy time murders. Oh, fuck. It's probably where those murders were. All right, so I'm not sure what. Okay, don't step into all of them. There's gonna be there's gonna be ones that stick out. I'm sure. Or else I'm gonna lose my mind like in, back in building one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. 
Wait. Um. Second. Oh, three two oh two. Hold on. I need to go back down. Three two oh two is the second room over there. I'm surprised there's no doodles outside the door though. No? Nothing? Was I wrong? Second floor, 3202. And then 3408 is on floor four. Huh. Okay. Maybe not now or something. Well, let me just see, is there anything gonna happen here? Oh, marking on the floor. I literally don't know what any of this means. It looks like random doodles. I'm sure they mean something. I just don't know what they mean. And then... Oh, I thought it stopped me. Oh, there's the taped up one. Feels like somebody's watching me. <laughs> Scary. I don't want to go through here. All right. We encourage everyone to head to lead a quiet life. Do not talk loudly. This is not a lounge. Watch your step in the halls and don't make too much noise. If you find someone hurting himself or hurting others, inform the staff at once. Keep your hands and feet to yourself. Nope. Okay. Alright, I'm not sure what else to do here. Unless I go underneath the one that was staring, was it? I think it's this one? No? What about a shower? Maybe I can get in. No. Um. Hmm. Oh wait. Have there been oh there have been rooms at the end. I didn't even notice. Oh! This is back at this area? No. Oh, oh, third floor. Okay. Because that should be... Yeah. So that's how we get between building three and building four, I assume? 